Hi, my name is Faye Buck. Has your family been trying to find ways to conserve energy in terms of heating and cooling costs? Well, my family has, especially since the new increase in energy bills. This problem leads to the question, which roofing material retains the most heat in the home? Asphalt shingles, wood shingles, slate shingles, and mud slash straw. I cut off all four folding flaps on the bottom of the box so that it'd be easier for me to enter the thermometer through the bottom of the box. And then I taped that thermometer to the inside top of the box. Then I painted all five boxes the exact same color, just for some pizzazz. And then I attached the asphalt shingles, wood shingles, slate shingles, and mud slash straw to the top of the four boxes, but then on the fifth box, I left it blank for it to be the control box. As you can see, I did this for five days, and my results were the wood and asphalt shingles retained the most heat with an average of 56.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The second most effective was the slate shingles with an average of 55.4 degrees Fahrenheit, and the third most effective was the mud slash straw with an average of 55.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The control box had an average of 51 degrees Fahrenheit. Whether it's mud, whether it's slate and asphalt shingles, whether it's anything, it's better to have a roof than not have a roof. I hope that they learn that asphalt shingles, even though it only lasts for a small amount of time, it's the best one.